Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Yuki and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new bike shorts from Aritzia's TNA line. So Aritzia recently updated their bike shorts line and they actually have a couple of different options for styles and fabrics that you can choose from. I picked up two pairs, the TNA Life 7 inch short and the TNA Chill 7 inch short. So I'm going to be doing a couple of different comparisons, TNA Life versus TNA Chill, the high rise and the super high rise. I also have the previous version of the shorts so I'll be talking about what changed from the old version as well. There are quite a bit of difference between the different kinds that you might not be able to see through the pictures online so I'm gonna be doing a comparison for you guys. Hopefully this helps you make a decision and if you're thinking of picking a pair up be sure to stay tuned for this video and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and as always my Instagram is right here if you want to follow me I post more fashion content on there. So yeah let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the TNA Chill Atmosphere Short. I got these in black and I got them in a size small and these retail for $20. So very affordable. They're kind of just your basic bike shorts. There's no seam on the side of the leg and there's a pretty thick waistband up top, which is good for sucking you in and just a little bit more flattering in general. So the material of the TNA Chill Shorts are 95% cotton and then 5% elastane, which is more for stretch. So these, um, as you can imagine, are gonna feel like your basic cotton t-shirt. It's like that kind of material. So it's actually just meant to like for chilling as the name suggests so it's really good for you know like fashion purposes if you just want to throw this on under a hoodie we're not really meant for working out as the name suggests here is the tna chill shorts on first thing right off the bat the rise is not at all high enough for what i want in a bike short if you're shorter this might work for you but i'm 5 7 and this is where they come up to so i would say if you like a higher rise short i wouldn't go with this pair in terms of camel toe it's a bit of a problem it's not a big deal compared to what i've seen in other shorts. I have no compression. It feels like you're not wearing anything, but I will say that I do feel a little bit of tightness towards the bottom of my thigh. It's not anything that bothers me, but overall pretty flattering. I will say they're not squat proof at all. Can't work out in these. They're not really made for working out anyways. So yeah, for $20, I think they're pretty good value for like what they are. All in all, I don't think I would recommend these, especially if you're taller because the rise just it's just not as flattering as the super high rise. So I would probably pass on this one. In terms of the material, it's not squat proof again and you can't work out in them. I think if that's what you're looking for in a bike short, then definitely go for the TNA Life because it is more meant for that purpose. So the other pair of shorts that I got are the TNA Life 7 inch shorts. So this one is their TNA Life fabric, which is different from the TNA Chill. I got this one in a size small. The size small is my regular size for Ritzia, $38. And this one is actually in their super high rise. So you'll see that it fits a little bit higher on your torso, which is great if you have a longer torso and you like your tights to be like over your belly button like I do. So just by feeling the two shorts, I can tell that this one is a little bit better quality than the other one, the TNA Life fabric is meant to work out in. I don't think it's meant for anything high intensity like running or cycling. I feel like this is the kind of material that's going to pill over time. But definitely if you're going on a hike, if you're doing some yoga, Pilates, this is definitely a great option. And it also looks really good just with a regular outfit. So multifunctional and we love a multi-purpose item. It's noticeably thicker than the TNA Chill fabric. So the material of this one is 82% nylon and 18% elastane. So this is going to be much more stretchy. It's going to be be a little bit more sweat wicking because of the nylon versus the cotton so this will definitely be more comfortable to work out in so here is the tna life bike shorts on i'm actually in love with this pair it's super super high rise like my belly button is down here and this goes up all the way it cinches you like, right at the narrowest part of your waist which i think is really flattering but it does give you a little bit of compression which actually kind of sucks you in and smooths you out so i really like that love this color in terms of camel toe i don't think there's a problem for me because 
Usually what causes the camel toe other than material is like if the rise isn't high enough then I end up pulling it up throughout the day and that's what gives me the camel toe. So I don't have a problem with this one because it's super high. I'm really a fan of the fabric. I love that I can work out in this. That is like a multifunctional item. For $38 it is really affordable compared to like what you can get at Lululemon. So those are my thoughts on these tights. So would I recommend these? Like for sure. I am such a fan of how this looks. I love how the fabric feels. It's super, super soft. It feels like the Lululemon line pants almost. So if you're looking for that kind of feel, I would go for the TNA light fabric. Okay, so here I have the old ones on. The fabric is really close to the TNA Life one, the full stretchy, and if you have the old version and you like kind of how this fits and feels, I would go with the TNA Life fabric instead of the TNA Chill just because you get more of a similar feel. You can also work out in it as well. So the problem with the old ones that I wasn't really a fan of was the rise wasn't high enough for my torso. I do have a longer torso. I feel like I say that in all my videos, but if you didn't know, I have a longer torso torso and this one was just like not high enough rise for me. I like my tights to be above my belly button. When I'm standing still it stays pretty well. Like if I start walking around for a bit it just kind of goes down over time and then my belly button shows and I just don't think this is as flattering as like this you know. Another problem is the camel toe and I think a lot of people have this problem with the TNA shorts. They give me a camel toe if I pull them up too much and if you did have the same problems that I had with their old shorts, um, I would definitely recommend you pick up the super high rise. They're the same style, the seams are pretty much the same throughout all three of these. The main difference is the material and whether it comes in a super high rise or a high rise. So yeah, that's my opinion. I'm really glad that Aritzia updated their biker shorts line and I hope you found that helpful. All right, so just just some closing remarks. I would definitely recommend the TNA Life fabric. I think it's the better one out of the two. I think it's more flattering. You can work out in it. And the price is a little bit higher, but you get kind of a multi-purpose item. I really like that. I love the super high rise that they came out with. I'm really glad they came out with an option like that for taller people. And yeah, I think that this is a great option if you're looking for an everyday pair of bike shorts or your wardrobe. Those are my two cents on the Aritzia TNA bike shorts. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a comment if you do end up buying any of these pieces and let me know how they work out for you. If you enjoyed, as always, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.